This is my second preliminary winter forecast for the winter of 2023 to 2024. Feel free to leave any thoughts, comments, criticism, and comparisons in the comments below and make sure to look at other forecasts as well. Let's start off with our temperature forecast. Warm temperatures continue to dominate the West. Areas expected to experience warmer than average conditions include the Northwest, Southwest, and North Central regions. The warmest area will be the Northwest. On the other end, cold temperatures continue to dominate the East. Areas expected to experience colder than average conditions include the South Central, Southeast, Northeast, and Ohio Valley areas. The coldest area will be the Southeast. There is an area of somewhat uncertainty in the temperature forecast. The area circled will likely see swings in the temperature, with warm times and Arctic blasts occurring throughout the season. Next, we have our precipitation forecast. Drier than normal weather should be expected in the northern tier, aside from the northeast. The northwest and north central areas will be the driest, and conditions should be less dry moving further south. Wetter than normal weather should be expected in the southern tier. The above average precipitation zone stretches from California to Maine, and the wettest areas will be the south central and southeast areas. Aside from the northeast, which is in the moderate zone, chances for wetter conditions increase moving southward. Any areas in between should expect near average precipitation, but could easily go above or below average because of the fluctuating pattern. Lastly, we have the overall forecast. For the orange section, warmer and drier conditions should be expected. This area will have the most intense, consistent above average readings and likely the lowest amount of precipitation. In the light brown section, slightly warmer and slightly drier conditions should be expected. The same weather as the previous area is expected, but it is expected to be less potent and severe. In the brown section, flip-flop temperatures and dry conditions should be expected. This is another core area of much drier than normal weather, but may feature some cold times, as opposed to the relentless warmth in our other spots. In the gray section, mild conditions should be expected. This small area will have average precipitation, but is expected to be warmer than average. This results in a winter that looks about the same as normal, but a little warmer. In the green section, wet and stormy conditions should be expected. This area should have near normal temperatures overall, but will have to contend with many storm systems. This will result in considerably more storminess than past years. In the yellow section, flip-flop conditions should be expected. This area should have frequent weather shifts, with some warm and dry, cold and snowy, cold and wet, warm and wet, cold and dry, and warm and dry times, basically any combination you can think of. You can expect here. In the end, such frequent shifts in both temperature and precipitation should even out in the forecast anomalies, making the season near average. In the purple section, cold and wet conditions should be expected. This area will experience the most frequent storm systems and the most below average days. Though temperatures should be colder primarily because of frequent rains, there is a very slim chance of some sort of wintry precipitation mixing in. Now this is where things get interesting. In the pink section, a battle zone is expected. This area should see similar conditions to our purple zone, but is geographically far enough north that mixed precipitation is much more likely. That being said, frequent storm systems along with cold enough air will result in the chance for all types of winter precipitation. In addition, an enhanced southern snowfall risk will be prevalent. In the violet section, wild card conditions should be expected. This area is very similar to the flip-flop areas, but is more uncertain overall. Anything could happen in this area. There could be extended cold times and extended warm times, above average or below average precipitation, and above average or below average snowfall. The truth is, we just don't know what to expect yet. This might change as we get closer to winter, but only time will tell. In the blue section, snowy conditions should be expected. Despite the uncertainty in temperatures and the chance for wild temperature swings, enough cold air is still expected to mix with the frequent storm systems, which should result in many snowstorms. Also, 
Just because this forecast shows this area being snowy, it doesn't mean it will only snow here. This area is just expected to be snowier than their average. In addition, some of these snowstorms have the potential to be major. Lastly, if you are in the red section, you are in the bull say. This area will have uncertainty in the temperatures like the blue section, but has a higher probability of seeing above average precipitation. When these frequent storm systems mix with a cold air mass, major storms can set up. These could be major snowstorms that could bring potentially feet of snow. These could also be major sleet, ice, and heavy rainstorms. The impacts all depend of the track of the storm. A more eastern track, like a nor'easter, gives a better chance for heavy snow, while a more western track gives a better chance for heavy sleet, ice, and or rain. Something to clarify, being in the bull say does not mean you will have the worst weather in all of America, it just means you will have the worst weather based of the average weather conditions. So no, you will not get more snow than areas like International Falls. Overall, if you are in this area, be on high alert for the upcoming season. Before we sign off, I just want to let everyone know that this is the last preliminary winter forecast. All forecasts from now on should be official forecasts, and they should run until November. Thanks for watching, and stay safe out there.